Hello again, good morning, good morning. So take three na po tayo. Good morning po sa lahat. Uh, I hope po na nandyan po kayo mga kapatid. Uh, praise the Lord again. <laughs> All things work together for good to those who love God. So salamat po sa inyong pag-antay, uh, pag-wait mga kapatid. So yun. So are you ready to hear the word? No? Uh, kasi po yung word yung... Ano, ipipreach ko ngayon mga kapatid. Very, very important thing and very practical mga kapatid. Lalo na po sa ating situation po ngayon na kailangan natin kapatid nga we need to be prepared always. We need to be prepared all the time. So again, uh, please keep tuning in <clears throat> kasi po marami tayong matutunan ngayon. Amen po ba? So the Lord will visit, uh, the Lord will visit you. wherever you are, because the presence of the Lord cannot be locked down. So He will be with you. He will touch you. Just open your heart, mga kapatid. Uh, you, uh, you can receive your portion. So before po tayo mag, ano po, mag, uh, patuloy, we will have our some announcement mamaya, graduation natin, to, to uh, 2 p.m. po sa lahat ng mga life class students, solo School of Leaders 1, 2, and 3. So mamaya po mga kapatid, so via Zoom tayo, via Zoom. At sa next Sunday po, ito po ay enrollment. Enrollment ng ating mga students na tapos nagtapos sa, sa uh, Start Up Your New Life or SOINIL. And then naka, makaproceed sila po, maka-enroll sila sa life class. And then yung nag-graduate sa life class, they can proceed to School of Leaders 1, 2, And three. So, kailangan po natin, mga kapatid, na uh, while this this get uh, the world is getting uh, darker, tayo po mga anak ng Dios is should be getting brighter by by listening and studying, training the Word of God. Kasi pinaalala ko po uh, sa inyo always na heaven and earth will pass away, but His Word will remain. So, yung salita ng Dios, mga kapatid, ito po ay fixed na po. At hindi po ito mawawala, mga kapatid. So ngayon po, just stay put lang po kayo, kayo mga kapatid. And then, this coming, you know, this, next month na po, yung anniversary natin. The uh, 14th year anniversary. Uh, praise the Lord po. Uh, salamat sa Panginoon na uh, we started seven people. At ngayon, kapatid, ang dami ng ginawa ni, ni, ni God sa buhay natin, sa church natin, even sa inyo, mga kapatid. So, God deserve to be celebrated, no? Even you know, every day we can celebrate God because He is good all the time. But sa sa church natin, mga kapatid, it's the the birthday of our church, and we will be celebrating next month, 14th year anniversary. So every celebration, may mayroon tayong mga uh, special uh, occasion, kapatid, or special uh, program, something like that. So last year we celebrated our anniversary. Uh, online kapatid, virtual. But we celebrated it na maraming mga ano po, surprises. But ngayon po, we are planning, the leaders and the uh, media team, you know, we are planning, we're doing our best po na to give you a good production, a quality, and a good live streaming. And of course, mga, mga program, mga surprises, mga kapatid. So, yun, my, my contribution po tayo. Just like what we had uh, last year, ang contribution po tayo natin mga kapatid is only 150 pesos. This is for our ano po, uh, uh, entry kapag magbigay tayo ng contribution na 150 po. So ito po ay may ano ka, may entry ka to you know to to join the raffle and my chances din nga maka maka manalo tayo ng appliances or cellphone. or mga surprises na mga mga ano po mga uh, blessing or mga raffles okay so if you are if you are interested po to join and lalo na po dito of course sa ating mga primary at, at primary leaders lahat ng mga disciples natin sa identity at lalo na po mga kaibigan mga family natin doon sa labas Of course, if you want to ano po, uh, mag-register or contribute na kayo ng 150, so ito po ang three ways to give. Yung sinasabi po kanina ni ano po ni Kladjel at nandin, nandun din sa ating screen na makikita mga kapatid. If you are touched by the Lord to sponsor like a prize or maybe maybe magsabi ka, Pastor, I would like a sponsor these appliances. I would like to sponsor, Pastor, this uh, gadget. So you are free po. You are free. If you are touched by the Lord to... 
to sow a seed for sponsorship sa pag-raffle ng ating uh, take away or raffle ng ating ano po aning ating uh, anniversary so you are welcome amen so mga kapatid and then one uh, once again po sa lahat ng mga ma morning sa identity family natin so welcome po so let me remind you if you have a take away so five to seven minutes take away video so you can you can send it to our ano po uh, identity church iligan at gmail so you can follow us always lalo na po sa mga uh, new new uh, viewers natin you can follow us sa twitter sa instagram sa facebook at kung hindi ka pa nag subscribe sa ating youtube channel you can subscribe our youtube channel by clicking the bell logo mga kapatid. So, okay. So, are you ready to hear the word of God today? So, I'm so guy, I'm so excited guys to share to you the word of God. If you have your Bible, uh, dapat may Biblia po tayo. And then of course, if you are new to us, you are not required. Sa lahat ng mga taga-identity, lahat ng mga disciples diyan natin. So, you have your Bible gadget mga kapatid because no takers are history makers. Okay? So, kailangan tayo mag-learn, kapatid. We need to learn more. Learner tayo so that if, because if we stop learning, we stop growing. That is why we should learn this uh, morning. Are you ready to learn? If you are ready, so open your Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay? Ecclesiastes po tayo. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 7. So, makita niyo lahat yung mga points at saka verses dito sa screen natin. Okay, you can write down if you want po. So sabi dito sa Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 7, For no one knows what will happen in the future and there is no one who can tell us. So Solomon kapatid is a ano po, brilliant, is so wise. And ito po nasulat, nasulat niya. No? He, he wrote these verses, uh, this verse na no one knows what will happen in the future. Uh, dahil da, dahil po diyan mga kapatid nakagawa ako ng isang isang mensahe na ano po title natin is facing an uncertain future facing an uncertain future ito po yung topic natin okay facing an uncertain future so when pandemic came uh, before pandemic came mga kapatid many had may, may, we had many plans for 2020 Okay? So before, because uh, March 15, 2020, yung nagsimula yung uh, virus kapatid. So before that, marami tayong mga plano. Marami tayong mga plano nga pagka 2020, dito tayo pupunta or ito yung gagawin natin. Mag, ang iba may plano magpakasal, ang iba may plano magka-business, ang iba may plano mga mag-propose, ang iba may plano mag-party. Ang dami mga kapatid, lalo na po sa mga big uh, business businesses and mga sports kapatid, ang dami mga, they were so excited. But when pandemic came kapatid, so nabura po lahat. Kasi po, yes, we can make plans, but si Lord po ang, nang, si Lord, si Lord po ang, 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 you know what, you, God knows everything. So, that is why when pandemic came, mga kapatid, uh, you know, in 2000 and uh, 2020 uh, came, January, February, we are so excited to execute our plan that we planned, that we made, uh, that we made 20, uh, last 2020. Uh, last 2019 but when pandemic came everything changes everything that we planned became for ano po parang nawala nabura so the world turned upside down and all mass gathering has been shut down sports religious schools and even big companies nawala nabura kapatid and lalo na po dito sa atin hindi natin alam kung kailan to ito matatapos yung yung ano natin yung pandemic uh, dito sa Iligan City color coding pa rin so may 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 kaibigan kami mga mga pastors ako kapatid nag meeting po kami kahapon na bakit po na nawala yung gathering sa Sunday service nawala kasi 35% lang po yung inaallow and then yung yung iba parang frustrated yung iba galit or some, something like that so but kasi hindi natin alam hindi natin alam po that this is the divine uh, announcement that we are indeed in the end, ta- end of the end times. We are living in the last of the last days, mga kapatid. Whether we like it or not, nandito po tayo sa last of the last days. Ang ibig sabihin, perilous time, dangerous time, and then this time na Jesus, kapatid, is about to come. 
So are you listening to me? So as a pastor, I want to encourage you, prepare you, mga kapatid, na yung faith natin is strengthen natin, mga kapatid. Now we had, because now we had no idea that when this pandemic end, wala tayong idea kailan ito matatapos. May gera pa. May announce pa sa, sa ano po, sa, sa may, may typhoon pang darating, sa sabi nila, sa, sa ating, sa ating ano, bansa. So some say that, it would last for two years, itong pandemic. Ang iba would say five years. Ang iba, 2025. Ang iba, kapatid, sabi nila itong pandemic is a strategy to introduce a new world order. Sabi nila. Ang sabi naman sa iba, ito ay tinatawag nilang plandemic. Plandemic, in other words, planado po lahat kasi we are in the end of the end times, kapatid. So bakit po may ano, bakit po tayo? Kasi po sa 18th century or 1818 kapatid or 1918 po yung flu, influenza, yung Spanish flu. Ito po nagsimula yung ano po yung yung nagmamas yung mga tao, nag ano na social gathering, uh, may alcohol or something like that, kailangan yung ganun. So pinaplano binalik nila dito sa ating generation, dito sa 2020 kapatid. So Hindi natin alam kung anong mangyayari bukas, anong mangyayari next week, next month, or next year. Hindi natin alam. You can, you, you don't even have no idea. Wala tayong idea, kapatid, kung kailan ito matapos o anong, anong, anong mangyayari po next month. Kaya nga, sabi sa Bible, sa Ecclesiastes, babasahin ko ulit mga kapatid dito sa screen natin. Sabi dito sa Ecclesiastes 8, Seven, for no one knows what will happen in the future. And there is no one who can tell us. Wala po kapatid. No one knows what will happen in the future. So what, what, what should I do? Or what, what will, what, ano ang dapat natin gagawin? Kapag hindi natin alam yung future. Kaya nga, ito po ang minsahe. I just want you to, to open your heart, mga kapatid. So no one knows our future except God. No one knows. Wala nang talagang, hindi, hindi tayo, hindi natin alam yung future natin. Si God lang. We don't have any idea what will happen next month, next year. O we cannot tell what lies ahead. Not of us known about the future. Wala po. Hindi po. Hindi tao kung sino man. Wala pong nakaalam sa future natin. The future is unknown. The future is uncertain. The future is unpredictable. Unpredictable. No one knows about our future, only God. No one knows and can predict our future except God. So because He is above, si God lang po ang nakalam, because He is above and outside of time. He is timeless, kapatid. God could use, could see the past, anong nangyari sa past, and alam niya sa future natin. Because the Bible says He is the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. So mga kapatid, huwag kayong maniwala sa fortune teller. Huwag kayong maniwala sa horoscope. Huwag kayong maniwala sa psychic, kapatid. Yes, the, these people could tell us no, about the future. You know, I would say today, no, lahat ng sinasabi nila are all fake. Are all fake. Kasi none of them can predict the future. Kung totoo man, mga kapatid, yung mga psychic, yung mga fortune teller, kapatid, so marami ng mga fortune teller na, na millionaire kasi, ano po, kasi alam nila, for example, magluloto kayo, no? Magluto. So, magpunta sila sa psychic o magpunta sila sa fortune teller. So, bakit po na, ano, mar, na, ma, mayroong mga fortune teller ngayon, nga psychic, na hindi pa na, 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 nanalo sa, sa, ano po, sa, uh, let's say, sa luto or sa mga, sa mga big nga mga competition. Bakit po? Kasi, no one knows what will happen in the future except God. Okay? Because God said many, many times that nobody knows the future. So, why na kita, ta, kita tayo, tayo mga kapatid na tayo po ay dito sa pandemic, ito nga situation, uh, many are worried because we, we don't have an idea about the future. Kailan ito matatapos, many are frustrated, many are angry, many are fear, fearful, many are discouraged about the future. Why? Because our future is uncertain. So today, again, our topic, 
Let me share to you this message facing an uncertain future. May story po sa Bible, mga kapatid, na sinasabi at dito ko kukunin yung mga points, mga kapatid, dito sa James chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. Okay? So, sa Bisaya pa, hagpat-hagpaton nato ni. Sabi dito sa NLT version, Look here, you who say, Today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year. Okay, we'll do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like a morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. Next verse po. Okay, next verse. Okay, sabi, sabi dito, what you ought to say is if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and all such boasting is evil. Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Okay, the Lord bless His word, kapatid. So, dito natin makita may isang tao, uh, may, nag, may nag, ano, tao, nagpo-plano siya. So, they are, they are planning to do business, mga kapatid. So, ang ganda ang plano niya sa future. No? Ang, gan, ang galing yung plano niya. Sabi po sa Bible, no? sabi niya, look, today or tomorrow, we are going to a certain town and we'll stay there. How many? Year? One year lang. So, anong gagawin natin? We'll do business. Bakit? Para maka, marami tayong pera. May profit po tayo. So, ito po yung tao, uh, nagpa-plano siya. Maraming, ano eh, maraming... Ngayon, maraming mga tao din na nagpla-plano, kapatid. So, dito nga, ditong verses, four verses po, or five, I think, four verses, dito ko kukunin yung mga points. How to face an uncertain future. So, are you ready? And are you ready to learn to how to face uncertain future? Maniwala ka man o hindi, hindi natin alam, hindi mo alam yung future mo. Hindi natin alam. Maraming nag, nagpaplano nga bukas po, magpunta sila or next year magpunta sila, ganun, ganito. Pero hindi natuloy kasi po maraming mga, uh, maraming mga problems. O let's say, like the rise up ng mga, mga surprise problems. Kasi hindi natin alam, kapatid. Only God knows our future. So, ngayon po, papaano po natin if we face yung uncertain future? Ito po, according sa, verse, uh, sa, sa verses natin sa James, ito po yung number one. Okay? Number one po, how to face the uncertain future. Number one, involve God in every plan you make. Okay? Involve God in every plan you make. Because the common mistakes of facing our future is that we make plans without asking God, without involving God. Kasi ang daming mga tao, they are planning to do this, to do that, but they don't even involve God. They don't even acknowledge God. Kaya nga, mga kapatid, alam natin yung future natin nandyan kay Lord. Wala tayong alam, wala tayong idea, pero si Lord may alam. So ang gagawin natin, how to face a future or uncertain future, so we need to involve God in every plan that we make. So in everything you do, sabi ng Bible, put God first. In everything you do, involve God. Amen? Sabi dito sa verse, sa James chapter 4, verse 13, i-flash natin, <clears throat> sabi dito, look here, You who say today or tomorrow, we are going to a certain town and we'll stay there a year. We'll do business there and make a profit. So, itong tao, itong tao na to is very, he is, he is, he is a business person. No, business person to kapatid. May plano siya. The businessman or the, uh, the, the he had a business plan. Na ito, tomorrow or today, we're going to a certain town. So, may plano. So, walang problema dito, kapatid. Nothing wrong with these verses. But, may isa na, na ano niya, na forget, he forgot something. Okay? So, sabi dito, uh, it's very specific yung plan niya. May when? Ano mo yung when? Today. Yung where? A certain town. Di ba? Where? To a certain town. How long? A year. Sabi dito, what? what, what, what anong gagawin natin? So, magbibusiness po tayo. And then sabi dito, why? Para marami tayong pera. So dito mga kapatid, nothing wrong with this man. This is very, very smart plan, kapatid. But bakit po na 
itong verse na to, may nakita akong he forget something. Ito po, mga kapatid, nothing wrong of what he did, but he forgot to do something. Ano po, nakita natin, mga kapatid, na walang, walang God dito. We, sabi dito, we are going to a certain top town and we will stay there a year and we will do business there and we will make a profit. So, ito mga kapatid, he forgets something he didn't mention about God. He didn't mention about God. It's all about self-reliance. Mga kapatid, I want you to know, if you make a plan and all by yourself and you don't involve God, mga kapatid, Sayang, no? Sayang kapatid, walang, sabi ng Bible doon, you can make many plans and the Lord's purpose will prevail. Kaya nga, kailangan natin kapatid, na we need to involve God in every plan that we make. Ngayon kapatid, I know a lot of Christian. I know a lot of Christian and then who love the Lord, but when it comes to to planning about their career, their life, their their business, their education, their marriage, and even many, many business projects, No, they are no different than unbelievers. Wala silang pag-iba sa unbelievers because they act like like there's no God. They, are, they, are, they, they, they act like ETS. They don't even involve God. Kasi, kasi uh, sabi nila, kaya ko to. Without God, kaya ko to. Kaya nga, nabura lahat. So, nakuha man nilang plano, pero walang Diyos kapatid. It's all for nothing. Because hindi nila in-involve si Lord. So as Christians, as, unbel- as, as disciples of Jesus, I want to encourage you, in you, if you want to face an uncertain future, kasi hindi natin alam eh. May plano ka, magpakasal, pero nabura, may nangyayari. So anong response mo? Anong, 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 uh, anong i-response mo? Baka magalit ka, ka sa, sa Diyos. Pero pinagplano mo at i-involve mo si Lord, God will do something. Kapag may nangyayari sa mundo, pero in-involve mo si Lord, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Naalala ko po tuloy, kapatid, yung si Moses, sabi, si, si Lord yung nagplano, dito kayo dadaan, dito kayo dadaan, so may, may, may Jordan, may Red Sea doon, so sabi ni Moses, Lord, bakit dito kami dinala? May Red Sea, hindi kami makadaan, hindi kami makakross over, dito may apoy, dito may bundok, sa luyo, may kaaway. Ano po Lord? Anong gagawin namin? Pero si Moses, sabi ni Lord kay Moses, okay, ipataas yung staff mo. So nangyari, God made a miracles. Ladies and gentlemen, mga kapatid, the God that Moses served is the same God that we are serving today. If God can split the sea, no, the Red Sea, He can make a way for you. When there seems to be no way. It seems impossible But you know what? When we connect our unlimited or un- we, because because you know we are limited. If we connect our limited limitation to the unlimited God, then the impossible becomes possible. Are you there with me? Amen. So tayo po limitado lumpo tayo. Pero si God po unlimited. But if we connect to the source, kapatid, the impossible becomes possible. So every plan that you make involve God. Involve God in every plan that they make. They plan as if, kapatid, dito sa verse, they plan as if God doesn't exist. Sabi dito, I will do this, I will do this, I will do this, I will do this. Four times. Nang, uh, naalala ko po, tuloy si Lucifer. Four times din. Uh, I, seven times, I think. Sabi niya, I will make my throne above, my, above most high. I will make the angels to worship me. So, I will, I will, palagi lang I will. Ito po, ang kadalasan ng nangyari po sa lahat ng, you know what, yung mga tao, even Christians kapatid, they make plans without God involvement. So if you want to face an uncertain future, every make, every, every plan that you make, involve God. Amen? So sabi dito kapatid, if you want to, you know what, because every time we involve God, there is blessings. Every time we involve God in every plan that we make, kapatid, the Lord's guidance will be upon us. We will be guided in everything we do, no, sa lahat ng mga plano natin, kapatid. So how, my question, how to involve God in my planning? Lord, or pastor, paano po i-involve natin? Of course, kapatid, 
very basic kapatid. If you want to involve God in your planning, then you need to seek God. You need to pray that Lord, Lord, as I, you know, just, just pray as you plan your life. Seek as you plan. No, seek, seek as you plan your life. Pray as you plan your project, your business, lahat ng gagawin mo, mga kapatid, you need to seek the Lord. Kasi po, seeking the Lord is asking, involving God. So, for example, Lord, gusto ko mag-asawa dito ng month. Lord, just, just guide me. Lord, gusto ko nito, Panginoon, just guide me. Kasi in-involve mo ni Lord, kapag hindi po matuloy, walang, walang, ano, walang problema. Kasi po, ibig sabihin, kung hindi po natuloy, hindi po will ni Lord. Importante natin, kapatid, kasi po, ma-frustrate ang daming tao, ang daming na-frustrate yung mga tao, kapag hindi natuloy yung plano nila, they, were, they become frustrated and angry. Are you there with me? Kaya nga, involve God how to face an uncertain future. Every, may, every plan you make, involve God. According sa Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, this is very, very common verse, mga kapatid. Okay? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your understanding. In all your plans, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. In all your ways, sabi sa ibang translation, in everything you do, acknowledge Him. In all your plans, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths straight. So sabi dito kapatid, we need to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. Do not depend. Huwag kayong mag, ano, mag-depend sa, sa knowledge nyo. Hindi tayo mag-depend na kaya ko to, kaya ko to, kaya ko to. Kasi ang, ang, ang brilliant ko, kaya ko to. Mga kapatid, without God, we are nothing. And without God, we know nothing. And without God, we can do nothing. Kaya nga, how to face uncertain future we need to involve God in every plan that you make. Because sabi ng Lord, in all your plans, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path straight. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, sabi dito, commit your actions or commit your plans to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Proverbs 16, 3, sabi dito, commit your plans or commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. It's very clear, kapatid, when we commit our plans, when we commit our actions to the Lord, and everything we do will succeed. Amen? So, involve God. Sabihin mo sa, sa katabi mo, if may, may katabi ka dyan, no, sab, sa, sabihin mo, just, just involve God in everything you do. Involve God. Ako, for, for example, sa akin, ako, every time ako magluluto, I, I, I pray, Lord, uh, kasi, ka, alam naman na, alam, alam ko naman nga, Marunong ako magluto. But I always acknowledge God. Kasi may, mag, may, may panahon po magluto ako nga, hindi, hindi ko, ano, hindi ko parang, what, what, di, di ko gusto. No? Di ko gusto. So, naalala ko tuloy kapatid, every time magluto po ako, Lord, just, just let me, uh, just, just guide me what to do today. So, for example, mag-drive ako. Every day kapatid, I, I, I talk to God, God, just lead me. Lord, lead me. I, I acknowledge you. Lord, uh, just have your way in my life. Just a simple acknowledgement to God. Kaya nga, ma-frustrate po tayo, masaktan po tayo kapag hindi natuloy yung plano natin. Kasi we don't even involve God. Amen? So sabi sa Bible, sa James chapter 1, verse 5 po, dahil po, when we, how to involve God, you need to ask. We need to involve. We need to pray. Sabi sa Bible, James chapter 1, verse 5, And if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom. We need to ask God for wisdom. Lord, may plano po ako, but I want you to lead me. I need your wisdom. No, he will, sabi ng Bible, ask God for wisdom, and He will give it, and He won't see your lack of wisdom as an opportunity to scold you over your future, but He will overwhelm your failures with His generous grace. So, highlights natin, ask God for wisdom. How po, kapatid, how to acknowledge, to involve God, is ask of Him. Ask and pray. And everything you do, involve God. Involve God in every plan you make. He will give us wisdom if we ask of Him. So, in this pandemic, kapatid, 
So the, uh, th there are things that we cannot control. No? So control, palagi kong sinasabi sa inyo, control what you can control and surrender what you cannot control. So right now, just make a plan. I challenge you, this is your assignment. Make a plan. Make a plan and pray. Uh, plan to your family, your ministry, career, business, no, no, your, your, your finances, even your education. So, anong gusto mong gagawin this year po? We have still, I think, seven, seven months to go. No? Seven months to go, kapatid. So, uh, I think six, six months to go na lang. So, anong gagawin natin sa remaining six months to go? Uh, six months, kapatid, na remaining six months. So, we need to make a plan. Amen? Sabi sa Bible, ang, ang galing po ni, 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 ni David sa The Message Translation, sabi ni David sa Psalms 119 verse 32, Sabi niya, I'll run the course you lay out for me. If you'll just show me how. Okay? Sabi ni David sa ano pa sa Tagalog, Lord, uh, gagawa ako kapag you direct me. Kapag, kapag magsabi ka nga itong gagawin ko, gagawa ako. So sabi ni David, oh, I'll run the course you lay out for me. If you'll just show me how. Kapag sabihin mo, Panginoon, na ito yung gagawin ko, then I will do it. Maggagawa lang akong mga, gagawa lang ako sa mga bagay kapag ikaw po, Panginoon, nagsabi sa akin, ito pong gagawin ko. So si David, kapatid, ang tindi. No? He submit himself to God's plan. To, he submit himself to God's authority. Are you there? Amen? So ngayon, mga kapatid, involve God in every plan that you make. Amen? So, involve God in every plan that you make. Lahat ng gagawin natin, just involve God. Are you ready for number two? Okay, number two po tayo, kapatid. Amen? So, number two. So, how to face an uncertain future. Number one, involve God in every plan you make. Number two, live effectively daily. Okay? Live effectively daily. So sabi sa Bible sa James sa sina, sa ano natin sa verse natin sa James chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 sabi dito how do you know what your life will be tomorrow will be like tomorrow your life is like a morning fog it's here a little while then it's gone then what you ought to say is if the Lord wants us to we will live and do this or that otherwise you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and all such boasting is evil. And dami mga tao ngayon na they are planning for something and na fulfill and then what they did is they are boasting, kapatid. So, ang tindi, if, if we don't involve God in our planning, kapatid, matuloy man yung plano kapag hindi mo na, kahit na hindi mo na-involve si Lord. Pero ang mangyari, you are boasting yourself. Kasi po, sabi ng Bible eh, trust in the Lord in all your ways acknowledge Him. So kaya nga, ngayon po kapatid, ang, ang iba, no, when you compare yourself to others, no, you are boasting. And boasting, <coughs> all boasting, sabi ng, <coughs> all boastings, sabi ng Bible is evil. So, mga kapatid, ito po ang mangyari natin. Sabi dito, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? So kaya nga, if you, want, if you want to face an uncertain future, we need to live effectively daily. Bakit po? Because none could predict the future or tomorrow. We can even, you can even know, you don't have an idea, kapatid, na ano ang mangyayari po bukas, ano ang mangyayari next month, ano ang mangyayari next year. Kung matuloy ba yung project mo, kung, mat, kung, kung ano ba yung mga, mga uh, family trip nyo or family bonding nyo, matuloy ba yan? So, hindi natin alam. So, what we, uh, what we should be doing right now is we need to live effectively daily. Kasi po, none could predict the future or tomorrow. Yung nangyari po sa Sindong, nawala. Nangyari po sa Twin Tower, ang galing ng mga tao doon. High-tech yung mga ano nila, yung, yung gamit nila. Bakit po nando nangyari? Kasi no one knows, no one can predict our future. Bakit po, kapatid, we should live effectively daily? Kahit po ganun, mga kapatid, na hindi natin alam, 
Ito yung sinabi sa Bible. Because our lives are like the morning fog. Mawala, kapatid. In other words, yung life natin, temporary lang po. Kahapon or last week, kapatid, may nawala. Mga ka- ka- kaibigan ko, kakilala ko, kapatid, nawala sila. Kasi po, kasi yung life natin eh, is ano, is temporary. No, it's like a test or like is like a just you know sabi ng bible is like a flower mawala kaya alam natin yung temporary lang buhay natin then we need to live effectively daily are you there so if we want to face uncertain future wag mong sayangin yung buhay mo ibigay mo kay Jesus wag mong sayangin yung buhay mo tudo-tudo na sabi saya pa tudo-tudo na mga lagad sa Gino because hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari kapatid because our lives here are just a fog it's like a mist kapatid na mawala rin sabi ng Bible so if we want to face uncertain future then we need to live effectively daily kapatid daily 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 ha daily so every day we need to involve God Every day we need to live and you need to we need to live ex- significantly. No burahin na natin lahat ng hindi importante sa buhay natin. Yung mga but, yung mga bagay na makasira sa atin, yung mga bagay na napalayo tayo kay Lord, burahin na natin mga kapatid. Kasi hindi natin alam. Kahapon po I attended a a a, a, a simple simple meeting po about in times. So Ako po ay nabibless po kapatid personally kasi po I'm studying about you know in times ka, dahil po and daming dami pong nalaman information Now, we are indeed mga kapatid kasi sa Bible po sa Bible may tinatawag silang ano po sa Bible may tinatawag na seven trumpets at saka seven dispensation yung seven dispensation po uh, from 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 Old Testament hanggang ngayon Ngayon na po, ang seven, uh, seven trumpets and seven dispensation, ito po ay pagtatapos. Pag seven na po, ibig sabihin, dito po ay rapture na. Ang pagbabalik ni Kristo, kapatid. Yung seven trumpets and seven dispensation. So, nangyari na ang, ang first trumpet, nangyari na ang first dispensation, nangyari na ang second trumpet, nangyari na ang second dispensation, nangyari na ang third trumpets, nangyari na rin ang uh, same as uh, 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 three dispensation at ang four ang five nangyari na po alam nyo po ba ano tayo dito ngayon ito po ay pag-exit na pagtatapos na sa six trumpets no nandito na tayo malapit na po mga kapatid are you listening? are you listening? so mag- malapit na po tayo sa seven trumpets nandito na tayo sa exit pa-exit na po tayo sa six trumpets or six dispensation So ang ibig sabihin, the Lord Jesus Christ is about to come. Rapture will take place anytime, any moment. So, hindi natin alam kasi sabi sa Bible, sabi ng Bible mga kapatid, yung 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 rapture is like a thief in the night. Hindi natin alam. Kaya nga kapatid, live a life as if there is no tomorrow. Live a life as if Jesus will come tomorrow. So, ngayon po kapag may mga extra baggages po tayo, no? Just ano lang, i, i, ano mo yan, kunin mo na, i, i, ano mo yan, separate niya lang sa buhay natin. Kasi hindi natin alam eh. Sa Bible po, many are marrying, many are feasting, kapatid. Pero yun ang pagbalik, pagbalik ni Jesus. Ngayon po, kasi sabi pa ni Paul, ah, si Paul, 2,000 years na nang lipas, nang lipas po, sabi niya, no, the end will come. No, sabi doon, mga kapatid, Jesus will come. So it was prophesied pa sa, sa yun, dati pa. Ngayon kapatid, malapit na po tayo. Anong gagawin natin? Wag na tayong kapatid na mag ano mag kanang kanang sabisaya pa magludluod, wag na. It's time for us to serve the Lord. No, yung kanabitaw, kanabitaw ng luuran nga dili na mo connect kay mang kay nang maulaw sila. You know what? Kanang maulaw is act of pride. If you need to have then you need to be transparent. For example, nawala ka sa church. Nawala ka na kasi nahiya ka na mababalik kasi nahiya ka, nahiya ka sa ginawa mo, nahiya ka sa ginagawa mo or guilty ka, nahiya ka. Mga kapatid, huwag kang mahiya. Kasi po, shamefulness will lead to pride. Kasi yung kahiyaan natin, ito po yung it will lead you to ano po, parang pride ito eh. Amen? For example ngayon, 
For example, alam alam natin, uh, for example lang ha, yung tao, alam niya may sakit siya. And sabi niya, okay la to, may sakit ako pero okay na to, hindi na ako pumunta sa doktor, hindi na ako pumunta check up, okay na to, Magal, ma, 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 ako, ma, ano, gagaling din ako. So, mangyari kapatid, kasi nahiya siya ng malaman sa ibang tao yung sakit niya. So, hindi siya maano, hindi siya ma, ma ano, ng medicine kasi kung hindi siya pupunta sa, sa doktor. Ganun din sa atin kapatid. Kapag hindi tayo babalik kay Kristo, kasi nahiya po tayo. Kasi nahiya tayo sa ating leader, nahiya tayo sa ating sa, sa church kasi may ginagawa, ginawa tayong na alam natin na hindi, 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 ano po, hindi sakto, hindi right kapatid. So, yung simpleness will leads to pride. Mga kapatid, wag As your pastor, I want to encourage you. We need to live effectively daily. Kasi po, Jesus will come. Sabi sa Bible, ang buhay natin dito, temporary lang. Amen? Sabi ng Bible sa Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1, Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your Creator. Honor Him in your youth before you grow old and say life is not listened anymore. Baka naman magsabi ka, No, wang walang wala ng kwinta itong buhay na to. Magwala na ako. Ah, bahala na magpakasala ko. Bahala na buhato na ako ni bahala ning kinabuhi na ako. Walay ayo madaming problema. Ang dami kong problema. Ang dami mga tao nga galit ako, galit din sila. Ah, this, this life is not pleasant anymore. Baka magsabi ka ng ganun. Sabi ng Bible, don't let the excitement of your youth cause you to forget God. Baka naman excited ka kasi ang dami mong pera. Kasi ang dami mong maganda yung trabaho nyo. Yung, yung, yung business mo, going well. Excited ka. But your excitement, you forget God. Pangit yun, kapatid. Ako, excited ko. Binibless po tayo ni Lord, kapatid. Pero I will, I will not, never, kapatid, I will not forget God. Kasi what I have belongs to Him. What I have, no, it's, it's all for Him. Everything I have, no, belongs to the Lord. Walang akin yun. Sa'yo din. We need to acknowledge that everything you have comes from the Lord. Kaya nga nakatrabaho ka. Kaya nga nakanegosyo ka. Because God sustain you. Don't brag yourself. Huwag mong sabihin nga, because sa akin, this is all my sacrifices. Dahil ako po ay nagsakripisyo. Kaya naka, nakareceive ako ng ganito. Huwag ganun, kapatid. You need to live effectively daily. How? You need to acknowledge God. We need to, you know, that, don't, don't forget. Sabi ng isang translation po, sabi doon kapatid, na don't, don't, uh, don't forget God. No? Don't allow yourself to forget God before distraction comes. Sabi ng Bible. Habang may buhay, may pag-asa, totoo yan. Habang may pag-asa ka pa, balik ka na kay Jesus. Habang may pag-asa ka pa, serve God like we, you did before and even more than what you did before. Amen? So live God. Live a life significantly. Live effectively. So live one day at a time and make it count. Live one day at a time and make it count. Sabi ng Bible sa Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, sabi dito, Refuse to worry about tomorrow. Refuse to worry about tomorrow. But deal with each challenge challenge that comes your way. One day at a time, tomorrow will take care of itself. So every day, just live effectively in order for us to face an uncertain future. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't, work, don't get worked up about what, you, what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when times when time comes. Amen po, mga kapatid. Hindi natin alam tomorrow. Nagtrabaho ka ngayon. Mag-decide ka, hindi na ako mag-sell group. Hindi na nyo alam kung anong mangyari mo sa bukas. Nag-decide ka, hindi na ako mag-connect sa, sa church. Hindi na nyo alam kung bukas, anong mangyayari. Di ba? O sabi mo, ah, angry ako sa itong itong person. Hindi mo bukas sasabihin ko sa kanya na uh, bukas uulan ang bala. <laughs> Hindi mo alam. Hindi mo alam anong mangyari bukas. Kaya nga I, I I I will encourage you mga kapatid ko. Yes, as your pastor, I'm humbled 
and honor to share this word to you, mga kapatid. Just live effectively daily. Amen. Sabi sa Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 uh, sa The Passion Translation. Dabi dito, never brag about the plans you have for tomorrow. For you don't have a clue what will what tomorrow may bring to you. Hindi mo alam. Hindi natin alam. Alam mo ba? Yes, alam mo may plano ka bukas. Pero you, you don't even have, uh, we don't have an idea what will happen tomorrow. Baka, yes, may plano kayo, may, may plano kayo mag-date sa, sa GF mo or boyfriend mo or BF mo. And then, biglaan lang nagsabi siya, ah, hindi na to, hindi matuloy. Kasi nawala na siyang gana sa, sa, sa inyo. For example lang, ha? Hindi natin alam. You cannot brag, kapatid. So I would suggest, kapatid, yung, yung pinaka-importante po, ang pinaka-importante sa buhay natin, of course, si Lord po, yung family natin. At yung, ano, just live a life effectively daily. Are you there? So worry cannot change the past. Kapag mag-worry ka po tomorrow, wag kayong mag-worry tomorrow. Anong kakainin nyo tomorrow? Don't, don't worry about that. Just leave it all to God. Just leave it na effectively right now. Leave it effectively right now. And sabi ng Bible, bahala ng tomorrow, mag-worry itself. Are you there? So why worry? Why can change your worry cannot change the past and worry cannot control your future? You we have a bright future in the Lord. Kahit na may pandemic, kahit na may crisis, kahit na anong you know mga mga storms, mga winds sa buhay natin, we have a bright future in the Lord. All we need to do, yes, we have uncertain future that we are facing right now. All we need to do to face our uncertain future is that we need to involve God in every plan that we make and then we need to live effectively daily. Sabi po sa Bible, sa si David po, ang tindi yung sinabi ni David sa Psalms 84 verse 18. Sabi dito, just one day of intimacy with you. One day ha, one day. We're talking about live effectively daily. How to live effectively daily? Ito po yung sinabi ni David, for just one day of intimacy with you is like a thousand days of joy rolled into one. Imagine, you just live your life to God daily, kapatid. Effective yun. And I'd rather stand on the threshold in front of the gate, beautiful, ready to go in worship, my God, than to live my life without you in the most beautiful palace of the wicked. Imagine. Ang tindi yung si David. Alam ni David, kapatid, he had everything. He had, you know, si David King siya. Ikaw, hindi tayo, hindi ka naman hari. Yes, may, may pera tayo. May, may pera ka, may property ka. Pero si David, ang, ang tindi. He had everything. He had his kingdom. Pero ang sabi ni David, for just one day of intimacy with you is like a thousand days of joy. Sa ibang translation, mga kapatid, better is one day in your course than the thousand elsewhere. Kapatid, masaya ka man. Pero yung mga kaibigan mo, sabi ni David, mga kaibigan mo, mga, mga, mga wicked, wala si Kristo. Masaya ka, pero wala si Kristo. Ang tindi yung kasiyahan natin. Mga kapatid, dapat masaya tayo kahit hindi masayo yung mga tao. No? Masaya tayo kasi nandito tayo kay Lord. Nagsaserve po tayo kay Lord. Uh, kahit na unfavorable situation nangyari sa atin, magmasaya po tayo kapatid. Dahil po kay Lord, nandyan si Lord. Alam natin yung connection natin kay Lord. No? Kahit na may mga deficit sa business natin, kahit na may mga nangyari kapatid, Oh, everything was, you know, God allows because God has a purpose. Are you there with me? Amen? So mga kapatid, be strong. Tayo po, no? Pag matino na po tayo mga kapatid. No? Mga leaders, mga 144, tayo po, mag matino na po tayo. Amen po? Are you there with me? Amen? So mga kapatid, we can face our uncertain future. Live one day at a time and make it count with the Lord. Amen? So number three na po tayo. Okay, are you guys with me? Number three. Hindi tayo mapadistract sa mga ino-offer sa, sa mundo. Ito po, ito po yung gagawin. Ito, mayaman ko, mayaman ako. Mayaman. Yes, ang dami mga business ngayon. They don't involve God. Yes, nayaman sila. Ang dami silang pera. Makabilis lang sakya, sakyan. No, hindi naman ako galit. Hindi ako nagsin. Uh, nags, hindi na, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not against those people na they are so young and then they are so young and then they can make a lot of money. Approve ako doon, mga kapatid. 
no approve ako walang wala namang ano yan gusto ako pati ako gusto ko gusto ko yung mga anak ko nang ganyan mangyari pero ang ang pinaka education na binigay ko ibibigay ko sa aking mga anak is the fear of god the fear of god they should live one day at a time to make it count kapatid ang masaya ako kasi yung mga anak kong dalawa may trabaho na sila online no si ano po uh, masaya na ako sa kanila may trabaho na sila pero yung ini ini ano ko in encourage ko sa kanila baka yung 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 may pera na kayo and then you to forget god don't do it don't do it don't do it so magalit po ako sa kanila kapag may pera na sila and then they don't even uh, they forget your their devotional uh, their their ano heart for the lord no don ako magagalit kapatid kasi po wa ganun ang pera natin mawala yan no wa in in the second life wala tayong ma makuha madala kapatid everything is just a temporary lang are you there with me amen so ngayon number three po tayo how to face our our uncertain future this is very important always do what is right and good always do what is right and good anong sabi sa bible sa james ang binasa natin sabi sa james chapter 4 verse 17 sabi dito if you do if you know if you know of, of an opportunity To do what is right thing today, yet you refrain from doing it, you are guilty of sin. Yun, how to face an uncertain future. Always do what is right and good. Kasi sabi ng Bible, kung alam mo, kung, kung alam mo yung tama, hindi mo ginagawa, ito po ay kasalanan. Kapag alam natin yung tama, hindi natin ginagawa. Papaano natin ma-face kasalanan siya? Hindi natin, yung sin po cannot face the uncertain future. Sin will lead to more sin. Sin will distract you from your, ano po, from, from fixing your eyes on Jesus. Alam natin yung tama, hindi natin ginagawa. Kaya nga, when you face no uncertain future, we need always to do what is right. And good, ano yung tama, ano po, an, ano yung tama, and sakto, ba, ganun. Amen. So, knowing the right thing and not do it, it's a sin. There are two kinds of sin. Tinatawag natin yung commission, ang ibig sabihin yung commission is knowing the wrong thing, but you still doing it. Ang yung omission is knowing the right thing, but you don't do it. Alam natin yung tama, pero hindi natin ginagawa kasalanan yun. Are you there? I hope mga kapatid na open natin yung puso natin. Kasalanan pala yung alam mo yung tama pero hindi natin ginagawa. Kapag always natin ginagawa ito na alam natin yung, yung tama hindi natin ginagawa and nagiging kultura na natin we cannot face your uncertain future. Sayang kapatid. Amen? So ano yung mga tama? For example, tama, no? Tama yung mag-forgive ka, hindi mo pinoforgive. Tama 'yun. Pinopospon mo pa, pinalaki mo pa yung 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 ano, yung problema. Ang gusto sa Bible is forget and forgive. You, you, I mean I mean you forgive, pero hindi mo pinatawad. Ang ibig sabihin, tama yung magpatawad ka, pero hindi mo pinatawad, kasalanan 'yun. Amen. Tama yung mag-reconcile ka, pero hindi ka nag-reconcile. Hindi tama yun, kasalanan yun, kapatid. Tama, mga kapatid, na you need to give your life to God, pero hindi mo binigay yung buhay mo kay Diyos, kay, 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 kay Jesus. Mali yun. Amen. So, joining the training, tama yun. Joining the training, hindi mali yun. Tama yun, ha? Tama yung when you join the training, tama yung mag-join ka sa cell group, Tama yung ano, yung mag-join ka sa prayer, mag-join ka sa destiny class, mag-join ka, mag-involve ka sa ministry. Tama yun kapatid. Alam natin tama, pero hindi natin ginawa. Kasalanan po. So don't make any excuses, kapatid. Kasi po, pastor, kasi po, busy ako, kasi po, busy, 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 kasi po, kasi po, kasi po. Ang dami nating kasi po. Ang dami nating mga excuses. So I, I pray, just open your heart. The Lord will minister to you now. The Holy Spirit will speak to you now. Alam natin ang tama, pero hindi natin ginawa. Mali yun. 
makag-communicate sa iyong leader, hindi yan tama. Yung leader mo palaging nagsisend, niya hindi ka nag-reply, hindi yan tama. Tama pala yung magre-reply ka sa inyong leader. Mag-update ka sa inyong leader. Tama yun, kapatid. Pero hindi natin ginawa. Kasalanan yun. Kasalanan. Akala natin, good na tayo. Muhay tayo ng tayo-tayo lang. Sabi ng Bible, isolation. The man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. Own desire. Sa kanya lang, hindi desire ni Lord. Kaya nga, if you are listening today, I don't know who you are, wherever you are, whoever you are, if you are listening today, nin alam mo talaga yung tama, nahihiya ka lang. Huwag kang mahihiya. Huwag kang mahihiya kasi shamefulness leads to pride. Huwag kang mahihiya. Yung si, si Adam and Eve, yung naka, ano sila, na he disobeyed God. Ang una nilang, ano po, yung response sa kasalanan, ang unang response po, ang unang resulta sa kasalanan, they are they were so uh, guilty po sila. And then, they are afraid. And then, they are, sh- they are, they are so ashamed. Sh- nahiya po sila. And then, nagtago. Yun. Yung apat, guilt, takot, hiding, and then, ano po, sh- uh, nahiya. Nahiya po sila. Natakot po sila. They were hiding, kapatid. Baka, Baka ikaw, ikaw kapatid, na may nagawa ka kay, kay Lord and then you're hiding right now. You're isolating. Maybe you're guilty. No, maybe, ano po, takot ka or nahiya ka lang. Yung sabi ni Lord, alam ni Lord na, 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 na nagtago si Adam, di sabi niya, labas kayo. Labas. Yung lumabas kapatid sila. When they came out from the woods and then God saw the thick leaves, kapatid, na they wrap in their bodies, sabi ni Lord, it won't last. What you did, it won't last. Kaya nga, the first time, kapatid, nagkatay si Lord ng hayop at binalutan po si Adam at si Eve. Ang ibig sabihin, huwag kayong magtago, labas kayo, punta kayo kay Jesus, tinawag kayo ni Jesus, labas. Labas na. Okay, I would say, and we, I, I, I would say it again and again, come out. Come out where you are right now. Hindi yan para sa'yo. That's not your destination. That's not your destiny. You need to come out and the blood of Jesus will wash over you. Amen? Just always do the good thing and the right thing. Amen? So 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Or 3 and 4. Sabi dito, and we can be sure that we know Him if we obey Him. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living the truth. Ibig sabihin, yes, I know the commands of God. I obey the commands of God. But you know God, but you don't obey God's commandments? Ano mga command ni Lord? Sabi mo, I love God, but you don't even obey the commands of the Lord. Then, is a liar, sabi ng Bible, and is not living the truth. Ano yung, ob- yung commandments ni Lord? Ang dami. Love your neighbor. Love God, love your neighbor as yourself. Yung commandment ni Lord, magbigay tayo sa, sa ating tithes at sa ating offering. Commandment yan ni Lord. No, it's a, it's a command. It's not a just, it's a suggestion. Punta tayo sa church. Mag-church po tayo. It's a command. Training, cell group, it's a command. Yung mag tayo, it's a command. So, kapag hindi natin ginawa yung command ni Lord, we are liars. And then magsabi ta, I know God. We are not living in the truth. The truth is intended to set us free, to give us freedom. Amen? So, mga kapatid, delayed obedience is disobedience. So, action speaks louder than words. Sabi natin, I love God, but you don't even obey the commands of God. A simple love sa isang tao na ano po, yung nagalit sa iyo, hindi natin nagawa, is lying. No, I know God, but you don't even obey the command because action speaks louder than words. So don't wait this pandemic uh, matapos, kapatid. Ngayon, gagawin na natin ngayon. Amen? So don't put off what's good and what is right. So don't stop doing what is right and good. Alam natin yung tama, gagawin natin 
kahit na hindi ma, ma hindi ma appreciate ng iba walang good job walang appreciation just do the right thing continue to do the right thing amen because we are now living in the last days and our lives is like sowing and reaping yung principle natin yung what we sow we will reap if we sow what is right then we will reap goodness and favor so going to church no kapatid uh, you going to church is 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 a right thing but you know what listen carefully when you when you go to the church or you attend the church kapatid and ikaw anak ka, and you are disobeying your parents mga kapatid mga anak please obey your parents my burden talaga sa mga lahat ng mga anak kahapon may nakita akong post kapatid na iyak yung ano yung yung parents kasi po yung mga anak ang tindi wala nang respeto na iyak sila and ang iba sabi ng iba kung alam ko lang ito yung future ng anak ko sana hindi na siya nabuhay parang yung parents mga mga anak is not the right thing when you disobey when you rebel against your parents it's not the right thing akala mo lang tama pero hindi tama so wag mong gagawin kasi kasalanan yun amen Amen. So giving and helping someone find their way back to God, it's a right thing to do. So let us all do what is right. Amen. Last verse, kapatid. Galatians 6, 9. So let us not allow ourselves to get fatigued doing good. At the right time, we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. So don't quit. May mga tao. hindi napapagod magawa ng kasalanan. Pero napapagod sila magawa ng tama. Bakit ganun? Kasi po, kasi po dahil po sa, sa situation, dahil po sa influence, hindi masama manalangin. Hindi masawa, masama magpray, Hindi masama magbigay. Hindi magsama magforgive, Hindi magsama mag, maghumble down. Hindi magsama, masama mga kapatid nga mag-join tayo ng training. Hindi masama yun. Hindi masama mag tayo sa parents natin. Hindi masama mga kapatid na, na i-appreciate natin yung mga parents natin. Hindi masama mga kapatid na mag-forgive. Ang masama yung opposite na hindi natin ginawa. Alam natin tama pero hindi natin ginagawa. Masama yun. Kapatid, I appeal to you as your pastor. gagawin na natin yung tama. Kasi we are living in the last of the last days. Don't let the excitement of your youth forget God. Anong yung excitement ng mga youth ngayon? Literally speaking, yung youth, yung mga games, yung mga, yung mga laro, libangan, excite sila. But don't forget God. No? Spiritually speaking, habang may buhay ka, youth is, they are strong. Habang may buhay ka, may pag-asa. habang may nakalakad pa kayo, habang may hindi pa nawala yung paningin, yung isip, yung appetite natin, let us all serve the Lord. Don't forget God. Are you there with me? So, amen? So, mga kapatid, may pag-asa. So, how to face uncertain future? An uncertain future is that we need to involve God in every plan you make. Number two, live effectively daily. Number three, always do the right thing and the good thing. Kapatid, kapag hindi tama, wag gagawin. Kapag tama, gagawin natin. Kasi kung alam natin yung tama, hindi natin ginawa. Mali. Amen? So I hope and I pray, kapatid, that I, God is speaking to you right now. So if you are a person na sabi kayo, Pastor, ako yun, Pastor, akala ko tama na tama yung ginawa ko na hindi ako mag, mag-join ng ganito, hindi ako mag ano sa leader ko. Akala ko yung tama. Kasi tama sa paningin mo, pero sa Panginoon, hindi tama. Matama lang yung ginawa natin kapag yung ginagawa natin in line po sa Bible, in line sa will ni Lord. Kapag wala po sa Bible, huwag gagawin. Amen? So everything, kapatid, that we do outside from the Word of God, everything is a lie and deception and it is dangerous. Are you there? 
So praise the Lord, mga kapatid. Let us all pray. And I pray, kapatid, that God is, you know, I know that God is touching you right now. The Holy Spirit is touching you right now. I know that uh, something is is wonderful is happening right now in your in your life right now. No, wag kang mahiya sa katabi mo. If you want to cry, you can cry. If you want to pray and ask God for help, you can pray. No, just just leave it all to the Lord. As if kapatid, this is you and God. This is between you and God. Amen. So let me pray for you, Father. I just want to thank you. Thank you so much, God, for for this time. Thank you for speaking to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us, Lord. Thank you for the perfect message that you have for us today. Lord, we are opening our hearts to you now. And and please come and just, just have your way, God. Just touch our lives. Just touch my life, Lord. And Holy Spirit, forgive me for the things that I know that it is right and it is good, but I refuse to do it. Lord, forgive me. I repent now, Lord. I repent it now, Lord. And today, Lord, I give me grace and help me to do what is right and to do what is good and to refuse what is wrong, Lord. Lord, sabi mo pa, we are not man pleaser. Kasi po, Panginoon, may instances po na matempt kami sa mga kaibigan namin, sa peer pressure, Lord, na yung ginawa nila kahit hindi tama, ginagawa ko rin dahil po, I want to please them. But it's wrong, Lord. I thank you for reminding me. Hindi lahat ng ginagawa ng mga karamihan tama. Panginoon, just change me. Let this word remain in my life, Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon, that you will transform me. Change me. Cleanse me. Purify my heart today. From this time forth, Lord, beginning today, I will, I will involve you in every plan that I make. And I will live effectively daily. And I will always, by your grace and your strength, I will always do the right thing and the good thing, Lord, in order for me to face that certain future. God, thank you so much. Please forgive me now. Cleanse me now and restore me now. Kunin mo yung shamefulness, yung guilt, Panginoon, yung fear, yung, yung, yung pride, Panginoon, kunin mo na. Lord, ibigay mo sa akin yung humility, yung hunger, Lord, for you, yung passion for you, yung compassion to the people. Lord, thank you so much. Bless me. Now, Lord, I give you praise and glory. Father, I want to thank you for every person that is tuning in right now. I pray that you touch them. Cleanse them. And fill them with your presence, whoever they are, wherever they are right now. Fill them, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, minister to every person right now in Jesus' mighty name. Minister to every person right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You know every person, walang may tago sa iyo, Panginoon. Nakita mo yung ginawa nila ngayon. Lord, those who pray to you right now, touch them. Touch them. Touch them, Holy Spirit. Touch them, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Touch them, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for moving mightily. Lord, prepare us. Make our hearts, Lord, uh, make our hearts 
be true and be mature, Lord, enough. Lord, I thank you. Lord, that today, I thank you for these viewers, my brothers and sisters, all the primary leaders, and all the 144, and all our disciples here and abroad. Those partners, Lord God, bless them. I thank you that this, this, this word, Lord God, will bring freedom to their lives, will bring transformation to their lives, will bring, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that, that uh, a wisdom, Lord, courage, Father God, to combat the wrong information, Father God, in Jesus' name. The deception of the enemy, the wrong information from the word, Father, from the world, Lord, I pray that courage will become their the, the become their strength lord god to combat to face the uncertain uh the, the the uncertain future god in jesus name holy spirit rise up upon their lives lord that they will be a strong army lord strong army Lord, kahit na, Lord, people won't, won't, won't agree them, will, will disagree, Lord, their, 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 their prince, uh, their, their opinion. But Lord, they will rise up with courage. They will rise up with boldness. They will rise up with the Holy Spirit. They will rise up with, with, with faith, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord, that indeed we are not a man pleaser. We are God pleaser. We are God pleaser. We are sons and daughters who please the Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. You are for us. You are with us. Lord, alam namin, Panginoon, that we are limited. But thank you so much. Our limitation, if we connect our limitation to the unlimited God, then the impossible becomes possible, Lord God. You can make a way when there seems to be no way. You are God who is impossible, God. You are, you are God of miracles. You are God who is, you know, can, can make signs and wonders, Father God. Lord, you are El Shaddai. You are Jehovah. We worship you. We honor you today. Thank you so much, Lord, for transforming and changing our hearts today. We love you and we praise you, dear God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So before we, we proceed, Kapatid, if you are new to us, you are invited by a friend from our church and even walang nag-invite sa inyo. Nag, nag scroll down ka lang and then and then nakita mo yung live and then right now you are listening hindi po ito accidenti it is it is a plan of God na ma you can hear you can tune in sa ito na video right now kapatid I'm talking to you right now those who are new uh, viewers natin yung mga bagong yung mga first timers po if you are a first timer first time visitor first time viewer uh, you are loved by the Lord Jesus loves you and I want to pray for you a prayer of submission and a prayer of, of, of uh, surrender to God. You surrender your life to God. So, dito po sa church natin, we are not promoting any religion. But if you have a religion, then go for it. But I will tell you, religion cannot save us. Only our personal relationship with God. Ang totoong religion, kapatid, na tayo po ay magbabago dahil po kay Kristo. Amen po. There is a trans- Christianity is not about information. Christianity is all about transformation. So ngayon, if you are uh, if you are that person, I want to invite you to bow your heads and close your eyes. Bali, ano po? Ako po ay magpray. Bali, you can you can you can repeat this prayer. Make this prayer your personal prayer with all of your heart. Amen. So pray this. Pray like this. Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you love me thank you so much Lord that you always love me and and now I know Lord that my future is uncertain and I'm doing the things that is not pleasing to you right now Lord I humble down myself before you please forgive me forgive me for from my for all of my sins from my words from my actions, from my thoughts, please forgive me, God. And today, Lord, I open my heart to you now. Please come in into my life. 
And from now on, Lord, I want you to be my Lord. From now on, you will be my Savior. From now on, you will be my Master. From now on, you will be my God. And from now on, you will be my best friend. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness and the salvation that I receive now. This is my prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen, mga kapatid. We welcome you. Come on, let's welcome those uh, first-timers who just received the Lord. Come on, pakpaka na to, so on. So we welcome you. Guys, we welcome you. We are so happy and blessed. And then as a pastor, I want to meet you personally and even even not tingali personally but you can message me kapatid you can you can uh, uh, you know what you can update us kin sino kayo or saan kayo nanood and anong nangyari sa buhay niyo kapatid so we are here to offer prayer to you and of course hindi lang tayo nag ano with that church nag exist po yung church natin to help you start start up your new life so dito po sa church mga kapatid we are here to help you hindi lang na na nakakilala na kayo kay Jesus kundi li, gusto rin namin na mag-grow kayo kay Kristo may may booklet po kami tinatawag namin na, na ano po a start up your new life in Christ ito po ay 10 topics ito, ito po ay eh, eh, this is for free kapatid if you're willing to be taught by these 10 topics in order for you to grow kasi po lahat ng halos-halos lahat dito sa church namin pinaraan nat, namin dito para po magiging ano po maging mature po tayo so this is for free, kapatid. If you are uh, that person who just invited by a friend, and then if you are willing to be taught and to, to learn more about this, then we are so willing. And you can message a friend, your friend, that uh, you know in this church. And of course, you can message me uh, if 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 you have you have prayer or if you if you want you know if if you want to know something, you can message me or some message natin sa Facebook natin, kapatid. So praise the Lord, po. We welcome you, kapatid. Amen. Amen. So again, palakpakan na tin mga igsoon. Okay, right now. Okay, right now po uh, we will have our communion. Okay, so if you have a, a communion element sa sa inyo po, let's have our communion, kapatid. So praise the Lord po. Okay. So praise the Lord. Ito po yung bread natin. So praise God. Okay, kuha kayo ng communion elements. Ginagawa natin to every Sunday and even every day po sa mornings at identity natin and even sa evening natin yung mga services. Kasi po alam natin, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Okay? O wala nang iba na makaklin sa kasalanan natin, undi the blood of Jesus and the bread which is uh, represent kapatid sa, sa buhay, the body of Jesus Christ. No, we are claiming the perfect body of Jesus Christ before He went to the cross. Amen? Okay, right now, raise up your bread. It represents the body of Jesus, and this is for our wholeness, wellness, and total healing po. Okay, let's all declare this four powerful declaration. By His stripes, I am healthy. By His stripes, I cannot be sick. By His stripes, I will not die. And by His stripes, I will have long and satisfying life. Amen. Okay po, so right now, if you have your cup, it represents the blood of Jesus and this is for our total freedom and total forgiveness. Let's all declare the five powerful declaration. By His blood, I am redeemed. By His blood, I am justified. By His blood, I am sanctified. And by His blood, I am forgiven. And by His blood, I am victorious. Amen. Praise the Lord po. Maraming salamat po sa pag-tune-in, pag-antay mga kapatid. So I want to thank God for those people na nag-send ng stars natin. So praise the Lord po sa mga star senders. The Lord bless your generosity and mga tao po na patuloy nagsuporta sa ating ministry. Good job everyone and may the Lord bless you po. And sabi sa Bible po, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So mga kapatid, Bukas po, may panibago tayong um, uh, ano po, uh, 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 series sa, sa morning sa identity natin. Kasi po, we are, plan- we are, we are, we are talking about planning, uh, facing, the unfa- uh, facing uncertain future. 
So bukas po yung series natin, Improving Your Life. It talks about planning, management kapatid. So improving your life, the importance of planning. Okay po? So bukas po, si Tuit uh, kapatid, na tune in po tayo 5.30 hanggang 7.30 from Monday to Saturday. Improving your life and then the importance of planning yung subtitle natin. Amen po ba? So again, thank you so much. And God bless you. Raise up your hands. I'm gonna be declaring blessing to you guys. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, raise up your hands. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. And the Lord will give you peace. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. And everyone will say, Amen and Amen. God bless you everyone. Maayong paniodto. Have a happy lands mga igson. See you this 2pm sa ating graduation sa Destiny class. God bless everyone and Shalom.